John Kanalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. This is a 36-year-old today commercial airline pilot who uh, two years ago, as you can see here, uh, it's almost two and a half years ago, 18th of January, 2018, presented to us with significant keratoconus. He was at the time 34. We reinforced abstinence from eye rubbing and he was functioning well with glasses and uh, hybrid keratoconic contact lenses. You can see his minimal thickness was 462. Uh, so we let it be. We thought at 34, uh, whatever change would be made with keratoconus, especially in lieu that he would stop by rubbing, would be stable. And this is him today, two and a half years later. You can see that the um, steepest K has progressed from 49.8 to 51.4. Uh, the thickness does not show a significant change, 462, 461. And uh, the change is uh, oh, about two diopters, a very significant change. And of course, uh, we will, uh, we will uh, wonder whether this change is from the contact lenses. So we're gonna run and compare the um, epithelial maps and see that the epithelial maps are not that bad. Uh, these are the epithelial maps today. So they don't really um, explain the change in uh, uh, topography. Now let's look at the other eye. We saw the first eye, which was the um, uh, left eye. And we're going to take a peek onto the right eye which uh, also shows significant changes. This is the right eye two and a half years ago, similar situation, steepest cornea, 49.9, it's 50.8. Uh, there's over diopter change and the cornea appears to have similar thickness. So obviously the keratoconus has advanced significantly. He notices that he cannot function the way he used to. The uh, dilated fundus exam, very important for us with the Optus uh, device, uh, is normal. There is a little non incidental two and a half hour atrophic hole with uh, a natural scarring on it. And the question here is um, with progression, we went on to um, look into how he sleeps at night. And although he denies eye rubbing, he sleeps face down and uh, on his knuckles. So that's where probably the damage and progression has been done. The thickness is relatively good to employ the Athens protocol, a topography guided um, partial in refraction normalization and uh, higher fluency Excel. Although we're seeing very promising results by using the ray tracing Innovi software over the last year as well. So this is what uh, we will do to halt the progression of keratoconus and obviously visual rehabilitate this uh, young, very pleasant fellow. And we did uh, discuss with him the fact that um, the um, uh, recovery would be at least a month, especially since he's a pilot, he would probably have to be out of commission for a month's time. Uh, and uh, obviously he's okay with that. And these are the epithelial maps from the right eye. The fact that the cone, uh, the area of the cone has thinned and the epithelium has thickened around it tells us that there's active uh, progression of keratoconus and we will um, seek uh, by employing the Athens protocol into uh, halting the progression of this awful disease for this young patient, obviously have him uh, avoid a cornea transplant. Uh, this is John Kanlakos. I thought you'd find this uh, case quite interesting in uh, the fact that we were deceived by the age of the patient, the good thickness and the good visual function and now two and a half years later, we have to go back to the drawing board and treat him with cross-linking combined with the surface normalization. Thanks so much.